And when you look back now, as Tim mentioned, you won every single test in 2022. When you started your French career, your international career, did you think that was going to be possible with this French squad? And what do you think the keys to success are? You just touched on the mindset, people not needing to speak, but it's unbelievable. It's a huge achievement. So what have been the keys to the squad, the coaching staff, and just how good is it to be part of at the minute? Well, you know, the, the first Six Nations with Fabien, he told us, um, I want to win every single game until the World Cup. So first we uh, we say, well, okay, we uh, <laughs> I want to win every single game as well. But he was really serious about it. And he had a, a plan, a really precise plan. And um, it started with a big reception, a big home game against uh, England. I don't know if you remember, it was in 2020. As I said, the France, and we won this game. Uh, we won then in Italy. We won in Wales. And uh, we lost in Scotland, in Murrayfield, which was a ter terrible game for, for us. But we learned a lot. We learned really a lot about uh, this game. I think it was one of the most important um, lessons for us. And uh, after this game, I think every, after this tournament, everybody... Uh, I did mind that we could do great thing, great stuff, and um, we just kept going game after game, and with a, a beautiful um, squad as well. Because even on the summer series, they um, they did some uh, rotation, some they put some players, um, in, uh, they rest some players, and everybody was getting here really motivated and. Um, like I say, we've got a really simple uh, game plan. We just need to put attitude in it, attitude in it, uh, to put energy, and uh, it works. So for us players, it's as, as well like easy. No pressure though. Fabian comes straight in, expect to win every game until the World Cup. That's it. Did you have <laughs> but, that at Scotland, but, Johnny? Did did a head coach come no, in and say? <laughs> I, I never had that with Scotland, but I had it with Fabian and Montpellier. Fabian's easily the best coach that I've worked with. And it's different for Greg because Greg's better than I ever was. But uh, the best rugby I ever got out of myself was playing with like with Fabiano as my coach because the simplicity of the game plan me me meant that you didn't get too much wrong. It was constantly positive action, positive action, opening doors, going through gaps or tackle breaks or offloads were possible because he creates everything, gives very simple vision of how he wants you to play. And then you just have to go and execute with attitude. It's kind of what Greg said there. We refer to it as painting by numbers. Like you, you put like blue there and then this happens. You put green there, this happens. And that's what it was like with Fabian. When you work with great coaches, the high-end performance stuff kind of flows. Um, that being said, you need to have very, very good players in each position to execute. And that's what France, France have got at the minute. But easily, um, and I guess loads of other coaches will be <laughs> wanting the same thing and other players are wanting the same thing as well. They just want simplicity, direction, and a very simple template to go and work with. And that's what France have. That's why they're so hard to beat. That's why, for instance, Wales will be harder to beat now they've brought Warren Gatlin back in. Um, a simple game plan, easy to execute, and you just add the rest, the ingredients required. And, and that's where France are at the minute. That's why it's so much fun to watch them. And Johnny mentions Wales there. There's been loads of talk on this side of the world. Wales changing their head coach, England changing their head coach. Sean Edwards always comes up in those conversations. We already know he signed a four-year contract again with France he's obviously really happy there but give us a word on your relationship with Sean and how good he's been for that environment Sean is really important for us um first when you arrived he gave us this uh, this mentality in defense uh noisy works uh to um always like fight fight out fight um you know at training he was always behind us like uh fight 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 and I think this was uh, maybe missing for uh, in France because we we always uh, spoke of the of the French flair of uh, the beauty of the French plays and but maybe we um, we missed a bit of this um, fighting spirits and uh, fight uh, Sean really brought us uh, this uh, this stuff to us. How's this French going? Uh, better and better. He's taking listen, taking listen. But you know. Sean always told me when I was player, um, I didn't like the the coach's video to be really long. You know, 
analyst to be really long. <laughs> so when he's going to uh, to the board or to the to the video, is really really short. Maybe three four words. That's it. <laughs> And that's why he's universally loved by every single player he's ever had because they're like, that's the best part of Sean is no messing around, no bullshit, short videos, <laughs> get out and train and get on with it.